I'm Bob, welcome to Golf League Tracker. So what are skins? Well, skins is a game in which each hole is played separately and is won by the player with the lowest score on the hole. When that happens, the player wins a skin. Now, if two or more players tie for the low score, then no skin is won on that hole. Okay, so at the end of the round, the number of skins won are added up. It's divided into the pot amount, and that gives you the value for each skin. So you can play without handicaps, which is called gross skins, and with handicaps called net skins. And net skins allows players of all abilities to compete on a level playing field. Uh, there's also a number of options in Golf League Tracker for net skins to tweak how the calculation is done, uh, where you can limit the number of strokes a player can receive on a hole to an interesting half stroke option that I think you'll like. But we'll get into more of that later. Uh, if you play a team game, there's also an option that lets you to control how the rules are applied if the two teammates happen to tie for the low score on a hole. All right, so let's get started. So there's two main ways you can set the pot for each round. Okay, the most common way is where each player who is in the skins game for that day puts in money and they only pay when they're playing. So if you had 10 people in skins and they're putting in $5 each, the pot's going to be $50. Um, the less common way is where players pay up front for the entire season for their skins game. And if they're absent for a week, they don't get refunded that money. So what happens there is that the pot for each week stays the same regardless of how many people are in the skins game. Uh, I think probably 95% of the leagues that play skins play where pay, uh, players only pay when they, they're playing a round of golf. And it's easy to maintain. You, um, The way I do it in my league is players pay me when they come in after the round. I'll go home with the money, make sure everything balances, um, do the scoring, and then I'll pay out the winners the following week. All right, so let's set that up. We're going to go to Players under Administration. We'll go to League Setup, Player List. And what you're going to do is edit each player and enter the dollar amount that they're putting in for the skins game for each week. What I'm going to do here is set up these first 10 players, um, both for gross and net skins, and for $5 each. So each pot will be $50. And presetting it in the player list makes it where this dollar amount is automatically entered when you enter scores. So you don't have to type it in every single time. You don't have to preset this. You could go and manually enter the dollar amount as you're entering scores, or even after the fact, after all scores are entered, uh, I'll show you a sheet where you can go and add this, these dollar amounts in um, afterwards. But I find the easiest way, if the same players are in skins each time, um, then this is an easy way to, to set it up ahead of time so you don't have to think about it too much. So then when you go and enter scores, and I already have some sco test scores entered that we're going to look at. But what you're going to do is when you say enter scores, you'll now see there's a gross skins and a net skins column. And the dollar amount that's set in the player list is pre-populated into this score sheet. Like I said, you can go and edit this if need be. Um, if you forgot to add someone into skins or for whatever reason they're not in skins that week, you can take them out. So I'm going to show you an example where uh, we have 10 players in a skins game, but one guy, this first guy, is absent for the week. And we'll take a look to see how that affects the, the pot. Um, so you'll see I'm having his teammate play his match, and there's no score entered for this guy, um, and there's no skins. Okay. So I'm going to go back and we're going to look at the score sheet now under stats and league standings. And this shows everybody's score, but if you only want to look at skins, what you can do is filter the results by gross skin players or net skins players. Uh, when you choose net skin players, it's going to show their net score on each hole so you can compare them quickly. So we're going to look at gross skins players first. And you're going to notice that even though we had 10 players set up in the player list in skins, there's only nine here because of that one guy was absent. 
and then it highlights the holes. You can see the legend down here. Gross Skins is this uh, peach color. And uh, it highlights the holes where the skins are won. We have a skin on the third, fifth, and ninth hole. Three and five were birdies, and nine was a par. Okay, so when there's a tie on the hole for the lowest score, such as the second hole, there's two fours, there's no skin one because two or more players tied for the lowest score. But if we look at the third hole, Frank May had the lowest score with a two. Joel Davies had the lowest score with a three on the fifth hole. And I had the lowest score with a three on the ninth hole. Okay, if we go and look at net skin players, you'll notice the scores changed showing their net score. So in this case, we only have one skin where Joel Davies made a net eagle on the fifth hole. And everything else canceled out. So if we scroll down a little bit, we're going to see a summary of each skin spot. Um, gross skins, nine players in. There's three one. The pot is $45. Each skin's worth 15 bucks. And in this case, Joel um, is the only winner, and he won all $45. So if a player wins more than one skin, you know, they're, they're winning that skin's amount times whatever number of skins they won. And it will show the, the holes that they want to skin um, here. Now we can also look at stats and contest winner detail and summary and skin summary to look at all these um, dollars won in different ways. So if we go to the skin summary, it shows you how many skins somebody won for the year, how much they won, how much they either owe or paid in um, up to this point, and their net balance net amount one so in my league I, I run two leagues one league I collect every week from every player and pay out the next week the other league I know the guys I've known them forever um, I actually settle up at the end of the year in full because the dollar amounts we were only playing for um, a few dollars and so the dollar amounts coming in or going out you know maybe a hundred bucks 150 something like that that a top guy might win Whereas um, the, the players that lost money, they might pay 10 or 10 or 20 bucks. So I find it easiest the last night of golf um, just to collect from everybody and pay out all at one time. So it's up to you how you want to do that. So we're going to look at some net skins options now. And let's pull up uh, the league standings again. And you're going to notice something under net skins players. There's a little legend down here, and this talks about the different rules that you have set up that will affect the calculation in the skins game. And so if we go to admin, uh, league setup, league settings, change league settings. And from the settings category, we're gonna choose skins. It makes it easier to, to find uh, your settings that you're looking for. We'll go over some of the more common options here so the one option that a lot of people use is to limit the number of strokes that someone gets on typically par threes um, so if you don't want them to gain any strokes or maybe limit it to one you can do that right here with setting 150. now when you limit strokes any strokes that they lost on this hole um, are just lost they don't get reapplied to other holes uh, to the next hardest hole that's not an option in golf league tracker so you can limit that for pars threes, fours, and fives. Um, if you wanted to just limit the total number of strokes that someone can get, for example, maybe you only want them to get one stroke a hole regardless of par, um, you can do that with net skins maximum strokes. So if you're a nine hole league, set this value to nine and that's one shot per hole. If you want to limit it at 18 shots, you know, you'd set it to um, 18 and that'd be two strokes per hole. You can apply um, a handicap percent on top of the handicap percent used in your handicap calculation for net skins. I'm not a big fan of this. Um, I think it's confusing to players that, you know, why am I a, an eight when I'm playing my match, but I only get six for skins. I, I think it's um, very confusing. I don't recommend using that setting. Uh, if you're a two player team, you have uh, options to control how the logic works if 
the two play uh, two teammates tie for a skin. Typically, they would cancel each other out because two or more players have the lowest score. But with this option, you can pay out a full skin to each player, or you can pay out a half skin to each player. And then finally, if you play uh, league groups in your league, league groups are like divisions, um, you can break out your skins game so that each group has their own skins game, both for gross and net skins. They're two totally separate games, Two to if you have two groups, um, two separate games, two separate pots. Um, and so maybe, you know, some leagues have like a high handicap group and a low handicap group, um, and this is a way to break that out. Uh, into separate games. Uh, another setting that some leagues use is the worst score that can win a skin. Typically, this would be where they only want birdies or better to win a skin. Um, so you can set that here. That would normally only apply to gross skins, though, because if you play net skins long enough, you're going to realize that um, you're never going to have a net par that wins a skin. I mean, almost always, you're going to have... Uh, net birdies or better and usually it's even net eagles uh, when you have a large enough league um, that are going to win skins so while this while the setting affects net skins it usually never really kicks in um, and then finally is the net skins half strokes and i'm going to show you what that looks like um, so what happens is if a player was getting say six strokes for skins Instead of getting one stroke on the six hardest holes, they're going to get a half stroke on the six hardest holes. And what that allows, the, the general effect of that is that gross birdies end up beating net birdies. Okay, so we're going to go back in here, and I've changed that setting. Now, when you change skin settings, it doesn't retroactively go and adjust your skins. That would screw everything up. Um, so if you want it to recalculate something, you'd go in here to edit skin contestants. And then you don't have to change anything here. You just have to click save skins. And that's going to trigger Golf League Tracker to recalculate everything. And we'll go back to league standings. And we're going to pick net skin players. And now if you remember before, Joel Davies had only one skin on the fourth hole. And now what happened is, because players are only getting half strokes, the holes that were tied before, for example, Frank May had a couple guys cancel his birdie out, um, now they've made a net two and a half because they only received a half stroke on that hole. So effectively, his birdie won a skin on that hole. And likewise, the par that I had made on the last hole um, it was being canceled with a net three by a couple players. This time they only made a net three and a half. So when do you want to use this feature? Well, if you have a field, a large field, I'm going to say, you know, 16 or more players, the lower handicap players in a net skins game, they will not win. I mean, they would probably have to make a hole in one or they're going to have to make an eagle somewhere along, along the way. Um, you know, or just happen, you know, like a one handicapper, he's going to have to birdie the hardest hole on the course to even have a chance at winning something in net skins. But when you turn the um, half stroke option on, you know, the lower handicap guys make enough birdies where those might actually hold up with the net skins game. Um, I ran some stats a number of years ago, and generally speaking, when there's eight players or more in the field, that um, that gives an advantage to the higher handicap players. Eight is about the break-even point, where the low handicappers and the high handicappers um, are pretty much evenly distributed for skins winners. But once you get more than that, um, there's just the lower handicap guys have no chance in a net skins game, and uh, net skins half option works great for that. All right, so one other thing that I'd like to show you is for the um, leagues that play for a fixed pot, what you do is go into the skins, and you would set up the weekly pot amount with, um, and there's a separate one for gross and net skins down here, net skins weekly pot. 
Um, so if the pot was $50 a week, you'd go in here and edit setting 123 and change that to 50. And then in the player list, instead of seeing a dollar amount for the guys, you'll just see a checkbox next to each name that you want to, to be in, in skins. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of that method, but it is there for you to use if you like it. Um, two more options are carryovers. With large leagues, you may find with gross skins that, um, and sometimes net skins, but with gross skins, you'll sometimes not have any skins won for that week. So this gives you an option on how to handle that pot money. Um, if skins uh, carryover is turned on, that entire pot gets rolled into the following week um, and added, added to that pot. Um, and you can do that for net skins as well. If you play half strokes, I think you'll find more skins are won per week when half strokes is turned on. So you probably won't have any carryovers. Um, and usually carryovers would happen more often in gross skins than net skins. All right, so that is it for skins. Please reach out to support if you need any help setting it up or if you have any questions. Um, and we will see you next time. See ya.